Now, even if one wants to evade brute emergence in the creation of consciousness, and wants to, one wants to argue for a position like panpsychism, saying that there are these kind of maybe fundamental, at the fundamental levels, properties that are conscious or very like consciousness, this does not mean that one would then go on saying that even this table is a conscious or sentient being, although it would have many stories to tell. So if panpsychism is not palatable enough position for you, others could be also explored. And there are different new ways that have been explored in trying to understand what consciousness is. What many of the theories of consciousness that have been mentioned before in the previous video have in common is this notion of structure. For example, we mentioned integrated information theory of consciousness. Also the predictive processing, predictive coding, and free energy principle theories of consciousness. And all these theories about the structures that are put to the front as the most important when it comes to consciousness. Understanding what a structure is and what consciousness is in terms of structures. There is also a theory that says that the self itself is a kind of a structure. Why would this be a better solution to the problem of consciousness? Why would structuralism or structural realism would be a favorable ontological framework to, ha to have for a theory of consciousness? This would be in line with keeping with the continuity claim, continuity thesis that we also mentioned before. So everything in nature, the, phil the physical properties, biological systems and so on, and consciousness and conscious properties could be also understood as kinds of structures. But what kinds of structures? So another idea that seems very important or closely tied to the whole phenomenon, phenomenon of consciousness, is information. Uh, this idea that consciousness is integrated information was part of one of the theories that we mentioned before. But also there is this idea that information can both be mental and physical. So the consciousness would be, or conscious information, would be this kind of mentalistic information, although there can be other types of information in a physical world. So if we say that there are only structures in the universe, that, every, that structures are the most fundamental thing in the universe, it is not about the, what stands between those relations, between those structures, the relata, but it is the relations themselves that are the most fundamental. How should we then understand them? Some philosophers have combined this kind of information theoretic uh, ontology with the structuralist ontology, saying that it is the structure that is informational. This is a real informational pattern in the universe. This is the view, for example, of James Ladyman. So for those who are not uh, content, so to say, with physicalism and physicalist theories of consciousness, for those like David Chalmers or Phil Goff, who were very serious about conscious phenomena, who think that conscious properties and conscious entities, objects, subjects of experience are fundamental in the universe. So somehow different from physical objects, but do not want to go into substance dualism or property dualism. And also for those who are not content with the solutions of the problem of consciousness, the hard problem of consciousness that comes in the form of panpsychism, which would say that everything in the universe has some modicum of conscious properties of consciousness, of, of sentience, which would be on, like on the other 
end of the spectrum, a totally extreme position for some. There is neutral monism. This position, the physical or ontological position in philosophy, would argue that the fundamental entities in the universe are neither, neither mental nor physical, but something neutral, but something that can be both mental and physical given the right kind of organization and relation. So if we understand everything as a kind of a structure, informational patterns, structures, these structures could be also understood as neutral in some way. When they're organized in certain ways, we get consciousness, we get mental phenomena. In others, we have physical processes. If we want to explain consciousness in the natural world, find its place in the natural world, and we want to keep this continuity of life and evolution of cosmos, and say that consciousness give its uh, right place in the nature. I want to say that it is kind of informational structure, so a structure like anything else in the universe. And also a kind of integration of information that leads to this. Jump from just a, a living organism to a conscious organism. But then we want to use the, the notion of information and not go into panpsychism or are not we're not content with the staying on the ground of physicalism I think that uh, neutral monist ontology combined with this kind of structuralism and information theoretic ontology could be beneficial for finding a new path a new way towards solving the hard problem of consciousness